Hi, and welcome to day 18, or baby step 17, of the Fly Lady system. <clears throat> if you haven't seen my previous videos, please click on the link below to the playlist and watch them in order, one each day. These are small um, habits that we are creating over the course of a month that become the foundations of our routines, which become, which is the foundation of the foundation, which are the foundations of this whole system. And um, it's important that you do one at a time so you don't become overwhelmed and burn out and, and you know, it doesn't work for you. So very briefly, um, at this point, what we are continuing to do each day are our morning and our before bed routines and we've added these to our control journals. It's not it's not so important where you have most of these tasks as long as you have them all somewhere in either one of your routines and your control journal serves as a checklist to make sure that you get everything done. So, morning routine is lace up, get dressed to lace up shoes, fix your hair and face. You'll uh, check your post-its in your bathroom, in your kitchen, and those are reminders for you to look at your control journal. Then you're going to read your Fly Lady daily message along with another email from the Fly Lady. You're going to change the negative voices into positive ones, do a two minute hotspot, a five minute room rescue, a 15 minute declutter. You're going to make your bed. That should be the first one I need to change my list. <laughs> and your before bed routine is to shine your sink, lay out your entire outfit for tomorrow, do a two minute hotspot, double check your control journal just to make sure you got everything done. And, oops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the, um, Baby step we're adding today goes in your before bed routine. And this is to set a bedtime. Bedtime. Is that one or two words? I don't know. I'm going to write it so it looks like it could be either. <laughs> set a bedtime and stick to it. She wants you to actually write this in your control journal under your before bed routine as a reminder to you that you need to go to bed at that time. So, First thing she says is don't wait, well I shouldn't say the first thing, but don't wait to start your before bed routine five minutes before you decide you want to go to bed. You should start your before bed routine. I would start it as soon as I got home from work. And so it really was like my afternoon before bed routine. So all of the things, because when I worked full time, I had most of these things down here. So my morning routine was very short and my before bed routine was like pretty long. Granted these things you know, only take minutes to do but I would start as soon as I got home from work I would start working through my routine um, so that by the time it, it, it was bedtime you know the last thing I usually had to do was shine my sink after dinner after I did the dishes and then I could just go to bed you know whenever I was ready. So don't wait until before you go to bed you may start this before bed routine early afternoon or it, I would suggest as soon as you get home from work. So why is it important to set a bedtime and stick to it? You need your rest. You're busy. At a minimum you're doing these things on this list and for some people, you know, if you have a disability or if you're sick or you're recovering from a surgery, this could be more than enough. If you're working full time, this could be more than enough. You've worked a full day and now you're coming home and you're knocking all these little tasks out. It is important that you get your sleep so that you feel good. You're not stressed out or you're less stressed. Your body has time to recuperate. You can fight off, you know, whatever the world is throwing at you as far as, you know, illnesses and <laughs> germs and things. And so that you feel better. Remember that flying is all about finally loving yourself. And when you love yourself, you take care of yourself. One of the ways you take care of yourself is by getting enough sleep. I had said in a previous recent video, was it yesterday's or the day before that? My dogs have decided that they are getting up at 4.45 in the morning. And I have finally decided to give in to that. <laughs> instead of fighting it because I was getting up at 4.45 whether I was fighting it or not and um, now I have to go to bed much earlier and last night I think I went to bed at 9.30 and I'm still tired because I'm adjusting to this 
and I wasn't going to bed earlier because uh, I thought I'll just take a nap during the day which never happens um, and I have to say that I felt a little bit better this morning my husband he went to bed earlier uh, last night too and he got up and said that he felt better so I think that you know even though we're all adults it's you know now it's our job to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves because we don't necessarily have our parents around to help us and so we take care of ourselves just like parents take care of children they set they set up rules and boundaries and structure and that doesn't mean that we have to run our lives like we're in the military but telling yourself, you know what, I'm going to make sure I go to bed by, you know, 11 o'clock every night because I deserve to have some sleep. You're going to benefit from that. Your family's going to benefit from that because you're going to be in a better mood. You're going to have more energy. It's a win-win for everyone. People will make the argument, well, this is the only time I get me time. Well, that's not true. You can change that. And I, I, I just know from... <sighs> Being, going from a person that stays up really late to then, you know, when I was working, especially as a teacher, you have to get up early anyway because school starts early. At least my schools always did. You know, morning is much more productive than evening because, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go. I've just gotten my lace-up shoes on. I fixed my hair and face. You know, I'm ready to go. And you can have, you know, quiet time in the morning for yourself. Um, you know, What's more important, sitting on Facebook for an hour or getting an hour of sleep? You know, you have to really kind of prioritize and think, you know, if I'm really trying to take care of myself, what is the best thing I can do for me? And part of that is getting enough sleep because we are all sleep deprived. So set a bedtime, stick to it, write it in your control journal. Some people like to do an evening ritual. I have, I have done that before. Um, where you know you you write out a few things that you want to do before you go to bed every night and that just shifts your brain into like it triggers your brain to go okay after you do this for a while your brain realizes once I start doing these sequence of events that means I'm getting ready to go to sleep um, so some people like to shower or take a bath in the evening that could be something maybe um, <clears throat> you read a book or you journal a little bit. One of the things that I would do, and they, they always said, like, I think it's like at least an hour before you go to bed, you should turn off any screens. So no phone, no TV, you know, none of that, because that helps to turn your brain into sleep mode. Um, I'm trying to think. I did have a routine for before bed, when I, especially when I was having so much trouble just falling asleep. And it did help. Uh, part of it was like to cuddle in bed with my dogs for like 20 minutes. They loved it. I liked it. It was a de-stressor. Then I would put them out of the bed. Then I think I read for 20 minutes. And then I think I tried to do um, either like a journal or like a 20-minute meditation. And so that was my hour. You could do whatever you want, you know, as long as it doesn't involve a screen. But the important thing is that you set a bedtime that's reasonable enough that you get a good amount of sleep and you stick to it. It's part of loving yourself. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them below, and I will see you tomorrow for Baby Step 18. Bye-bye.